So I'm logged in now to my paid account on TV Muncho, which I'm just going to have a look because they did a one time payment pay as you go. And the last three days, every time I go to my account and look at the settings, the subscription, sorry, you see, it's I keep putting it to pay as you go and it keeps going back to auto renew. I'm putting it to pay as you go again. Yesterday I did the same. I wake up this morning, they've put it back to auto renew again. You fucking bastards, fraudulent thieves. Yeah, I put pay as you go, paid one time payment, and you automatically default my account to auto renew like this for one month. That's absolutely disgusting. Put it on pay as you go one month, not auto renew one month at a time. If it's auto renew three months, they'll take three months money off you every three months. If it's one month, they will automatically deduct from your credit card or your PayPal account one month. I put pay as you go, I signed up pay as you go for one month and every time I come in here, it's back like that again. You sneaky, sneaky people. You are a bunch of thieves. I bet you when they log out and log back in again, it's back like that. Every morning I come and look and I put it like that. And when I come back again, it's like that again. Because you're trying to sneakily take my money without my permission. Next thing. TV Mucho doesn't stream. I stream very, very, very slowly. Ding, ding, ding. When you come in and try the free hour a day, it loads instantly, immediately, very fast. As soon as you've signed up and you pay, it's like this. How can you watch TV like this? Once it starts, yeah? so it doesn't do it, and then it starts skipping like this. It's not clear and it's skipping like this all the time. That's how fast TV Mucho is, once you pay. If you don't pay and just test it out for free, one hour a day, it goes great. And look at this, it's just not moving. It's not moving. And this is uh, live. If you try a recording, it's just the same. Goes like that. If you look at yesterday and try a recording, it's just the same. Hmm. It's just the same. And so I complained about this and they said probably your internet speed is not fast enough. And the TV Mucho has a, a speed test thing. <coughs> Sorry, burped. <laughs> um, and this, see, it's just not loading. It's just not loading. You can't sit waiting for that to happen. And so they made the excuse that it's the speed, which it isn't. But let's do a TV Mucho test and do the speed test. And then we'll go to a real speed test website from Ookla. And we'll do the real speed test. Yesterday this said I had 1.8 megabytes a second download speed, which I don't. And I'll show you how much I have really. And the upload speed yesterday was like ridiculously high. It was like 17 or something, a sec 17 megs a second. And the download speed was 1.8 megs. Today it's 2.04 megs and upload 8.45 okay well let's now go to speed test speed test by ukla which is a very very reliable source of speed test tot yes i'm with tot let's go You can see now I'm going to be somewhere between 60 and 80 something megabytes per second, which is very fast. You know, I could stream 4K on YouTube very easily, 
at the same time I'm trying to watch TV Muncho and TV Muncho is behaving as if I'm on a 1998 pre-year 2000 internet connection. It's as if I'm on 512 kbps a second, uh, kilobytes per second. And so their testing is their own fake or their badly programmed speed test because look at this, I'm on 74 megabytes per second today. 74 megabytes per second, right? And on the TV Mucho speed test, I'm on 2.4 megabytes per second. This is their own filters and their own things to try and stop you using more than one screen and one IP address, I think. I think they're filtering something on TV Mucho or it's something to do with the TV Mucho server because it's definitely nothing to do with my server. That's my server. And so how TF, how on earth does TV Mucho expect me to believe that I'm on 2.04 a second? Let's go to YouTube and find a 4K video. Don't ask me where that's so tiny. So, M4K. Let's do a 4K video stream. Let's put it up to 4K like this and full screen it. This is in 4K now. I'm actually on a 1K screen, it's on a 1080p screen, but I switched it to 4K so it streams it. And as you can see, there is no stutter at all. It's very clear. Close this stupid ad. It's very clear. You can see how clear it is, and you can see it's streaming. Look here, you can see it's loading ahead. Fine. It's not really zooming ahead, but it is loading ahead. You can see the gray area here. Ah, it's loading ahead enough to stream without a single stutter. As I said, the screen is 1080p. I'm also actually mirroring this through AirPlay through my Apple TV. QuickTime just crashed, but I didn't lose the video. So here is, I've had to continue with a second, which I'm going to splice. As I was saying, I was mirroring to Apple TV, which I'm now not mirroring. And we're going to look at yesterday's stuff. Again on TV Mucho, just coming back here and try a different thing. And here we go again, that funny loading diamond thing. After watching 4K video, streaming perfectly, this is TV Mucho, a recording from yesterday. Which is very clear when it happens, as you can see. But there you go, it's loading again. It does not stream. And as, you, as I showed you, sorry, TV Mucho says I've only got 2.4 megabytes a second, but speed test says I have 74. Let's try it again. And then we'll do another TV Mucho. Which is going, but it keeps stuttering. There it is. You can see it's stuttering again. Stutter, stutter, stutter. You can't watch it like that. Every 10 to 15 seconds, it stutters. And sometimes every 5 seconds. And then when you get to about here, 15 minutes into it, it just stops and does not load. You're stuck. Or you can get halfway through a movie, stuttering it. You can't stop it like this and let it load forward ahead like on YouTube. Go make a coffee, have some breakfast, go to the toilet go uh, do the garden and then come back and maybe it's loaded. No, doesn't do that. And if you change tabs like this, it stops loading. It won't do it in multiple tabs. So the speed test here says I'm now on 83.47 megabytes a second. Let's do an uh, a TV Muncho speed test. It now says I'm on 1.7, 1.8 megabytes a second, which is a complete inaccuracy. It's a complete lie, which was just proved by the 4K video we watched. Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. And here we are still loading. 
on TV Mucho. So is TV Mucho good? Well, I'll tell you, if you take the free one hour a day, I guarantee you, but in my experience, everything streamed perfectly. So that's worth it, the free version. But as soon as you pay and start trying to watch anything for more than an hour, it goes like this. Well, so as soon as you sign up for a paid account, it starts going like this. Loading and loading and loading and loading and loading. The ads even don't load. It's absolutely disgusting. So let's go back to the TV. Mucho says, I don't even have two megabytes a second. Dudes, don't tell me that is an accurate speed test, TV Mucho. This here is an accurate speed test. And I would say this 83 is probably something more like 60 megabytes a second. But it's fast enough to stream 4K and I've just proved that to you. So I'm going to share this video with TV Mucho. I'm sorry about the swear words at the beginning, but as I said, the truth is that get out of it. You keep look at this. It's I'm clicking on this, and it's even to change pages. It's taking so long. Look here, it's back on auto renew again. I keep putting it as pay as you go. You saw me do that. You can see now it already took itself back to auto renew. Absolutely disgusting. So pay as you go. Let's go and watch something quickly. Quickly. That's the wrong word to use with TV much oh. Four, five, six, seven, seven seconds to change from my profile to the main page. What kind of fast connection do you call that? It's not my connection. Today, yesterday, look at today. Let's just try anything. Try this. Load, 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 load. You see, it just won't go. Back here, go to my account. Come on. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten subscription. Look, auto renew. It's put it back again. I keep putting it to pay as you go, and you keep auto. As soon as I leave this page, you put it back to auto renew. You bunch of bastards. You're fraudulent. You are changing my chosen setting to automatically deduct money from my account without my consent or knowledge, which luckily I've got PayPal. If you do do that, I'll take a claim with PayPal and share this video with them per link to show that you're fraudulent because you're fraudulent. You've set your thing to automatically put it back to auto renew. Hmm? Pay as you go one month. Go back here. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven seconds to get back there. Click on the King of Queens. It's not loading. Loading a bit better, this one. Usually we'd have the loading symbol there. Yeah. BBC2. And go back to my profile. Six, seven, eight. To subscription. And look here. Auto renew again. Pay as you fucking go. Not auto renew. Every time I leave here, press apply just in case, but that's for code. You can renew my account. No, I'm not renewing my account. Go back. I'm not renewing my account. I thought that might be a way to save the setting. Go back to the setting again. subscription look auto renew
this wasn't here a minute ago. This wasn't here a minute ago. Pay as you bloody well go. How can I apply? Credit card. Billing cycle one month. Pay as you go. Pay as you go. You keep putting auto renew. Anyway, point made. And even I had set it to use SD channels only and it still doesn't load. You notice that? Might as well take that off because it doesn't load in SD either, right? Go back here. And the subscription is just going to go back to auto renew. I've already shown that. I don't have to go back there again to show you for a fifth time. <sighs> loading, 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 loading. I'm going to run out of breath before it loads. Absolutely disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. So there you go. TV Muncho, should you use it? No, definitely not. First of all, it's fraudulent how it keeps trying to reset your settings to auto renew. And you'll realize when you see your credit card has suddenly deducted $10 or whatever they're taking from you. And you're going to get furious because you didn't give them permission to take it. Fraudulence by TV Muncho. Have a nice day. This is the Webmaster channel on YouTube, signing off.